they are. Do you know whether they're here or not? The vast majority of people are in accommodation still, but if they've been given that negative decision, we can move much more quickly. So if a person is here three or four or five years, they've gathered a lot more rights. They might have started working, they might have settled down, they might have a family. It's much more difficult to remove them. If a person is in the system much shorter, it's much easier to remove them. And again, this is where the pact is so important. One of the main elements of the pact is investing in faster processing. It's having newer procedures where people are turned around quicker. And so if someone has a right to be here, if they're genuinely fleeing war and persecution, that they get that right much quicker, that they can move on with their lives. But if they don't have that right, then it's much easier to remove them much more quickly. And this is, you know, the, the pact itself, and we've debated that this week in the houses and we've been discussing it for some time now. There's nothing in the pact that doesn't benefit Ireland uh, and the structures and the systems that we have. It's about quicker turnaround times, faster processing. It's about being able to remove people quicker or return them if they don't have a right to be here. It's about having greater access to information uh, of people who are coming into the country so we'd have access to a European-wide database where we are sharing that information. It's about making sure we show solidarity. This is a European and are you challenge. Confident now How do we show that, solidarity with yeah. other countries are you, as well? Are you confident that your officials can keep track of the people who've had their asylum application turned down? Absolutely, yes, because what we're talking about is making sure that we do it quickly, that people are in designated accommodation as well. So the challenge at the moment is that we are responding um, you know, we, we are reliant on private providers. We have people who are uh, in many different centres across the country. However, as part of the pact, there will be designated centres where people will be living, where people will be staying. Where will they will be? be asked. Uh, well, that's been worked through at the moment. Minister O'Gorman brought a paper to Cabinet a number of months ago, and he's working to identify where those sites will be.